In this video, I want to show you how you can use the new Gemini 2.5 Pro model for coding or for creating website, everything you can imagine. And this model from Gemini from Google is so powerful. It beats um, yeah, almost every, every model right now. And um, yeah, this model is free. So um, right now I am here on the Google AI Studio. And um, yeah, you can sign up to the Google AI Studio. You can see all the models, you can see the pricing, uh, you can do a lot of stuff uh, in here. I will put the link um, in the video description down below if you want to check it out. Uh, you can make a free account or yeah, you can use your Google account. And here on the right side, you can see all the current models. When I click here, then you can see uh, right now, uh, right here you can see right now I am on the um, Gemini 2.5 Pro experimental version. And you can see all the information about it. You can see um, the cost for the output tokens uh, or the input tokens and the output tokens. You can see it's uh, currently free. You can see um, here best for uh, coding, uh, reasoning uh, and understanding and here use cases. You can see all the use cases. And then you can see here the, the knowledge cutoff is Janu January uh, 2025. Um, you can see uh, the rate limits here and um, everything. You can see you have all the other models when I go or when I hover over Gemini uh, 2.0. And then you can see here 2.0 is, um, yeah, this is um, a paid version. You can see how the pricing is for, um, yeah, I think this is 1 million, 1 million token. And I don't know why I'm offline. Um, okay. <laughs> and um, yeah, and also we have here uh, the image generator. So um, yeah, Google is um, right now, I don't know why, but they are publishing uh, quite a few models right now and very, very, very good models. You can see with this, you can, um, yeah, um, work on images, you can replace your Photoshop version. But yeah, right now I want to show you or for now I want to show you um, how you what you can do with Gemini 2.5 Pro. And for this, if you want to use this, you have to make an account with Open Router. So Open Router is um, free, you can make an account or you can log in um, with your Google account. And then you will have all the models available. So, and here you can see already they have a DeepSeek um, a V3, they have Gemini Pro and all the other um, large language models. And then, yeah, if you want to create something, want to create an application or want to create a website, then of course you have to download um, Visual Studio uh, code, uh, VS code. And also I will put all the links um, in the video description down below for Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code and also for Open Router. Check out the video description. There you will find all the links. And here you can see you can uh, download it. Uh, I write now on Mac, uh, on Mac OS and this is why I get showed here Mac OS. But it's also available for uh, Windows and for Linux machines. So and then, um, yeah, after, oh, and after you installed Visual Studio Code, then um, it looks something like this. Uh, here you on the uh, left side, you have your navigation and all the application you have installed, uh, the code explorer, um, the search function. And now we have to make, um, or now first we have to make sure that we have installed Klein. So Klein is our AI coding assistant. We simply go here to extensions and here you can see all my uh, installed extensions here you can see i already have installed client if you don't have installed client you simply go um, to the search or to the search bar here and type in client and here you can see um, here is client uh, when you don't have installed client yet then um, you can see the little install um, icon or install button simply click on it and then client will get installed so and then um, let's go to Klein and here you can see um, down below here um, the AI model we are currently using for. So right now it is on Open Router uh, and uh, Claude 3.7, but we want to change this to Gemini. So then we go here, um, Open Router and then put in your API key, your free API key. And then we go here and search for delete this and search for 
Google. Uh, Google. Then uh, here you can see a list of available models, and we want to go to uh, or want to use a Gemini 2.5 Pro, experimental free. Go here. And yeah, so now we have installed this or activated this uh, for the act mode. And then let's go to the plan mode. And here we do the same. We go uh, to open router. And yeah, Google Gemini 2.5. Everything is good. And now you can see we have um, set the plan mode and also the act mode. So and in the plan mode, we can um, tell tell the AI what we want to do. Um, for example, if you want to create an application or a website, then you will have to describe this. And then the AI will uh, yeah, plan out all the, all the process for you, what to do. So, and let's um, do this real quick. So for example, um, I move my microphone. I want to uh, create a simple landing simple landing page for a dog or dog sitter and then we will click here now you can see we will make the api request this can um, yeah was take a while but there we go and see um, now he is creating the plan. So the business name um, we want to have, or he wants to have a business name. Could you tell me a little bit more? So then um, we go here. Oh, not ready. So now I um, give the advice. The business name is Doc Sitter Berlin. Uh, please use a placeholder text for the contact info, etc. Then I will send this. here doing okay now plans the full structure you can see uh, here we also have an, an image so the index um, html leads to um, the about us page the contact us page the footer uh, will be included everything uh, here we have some additional infos or we have some choices we can make you can see uh, how does it, how does the plan uh, sounds? Uh, then you can um, choose to change the plan or to modify the plan or to give additional infos, give additional images, or you can upload, for example, your logo or whatever you want. Then uh, we choose for now. No, the plan looks uh, good as it is. And in the next step, I think he asked us to switch from the plan mode to the act mode. Okay, yeah, here you can see. Great. Please ask me. Uh, please ask me to, yeah, toggle the act mode. So then we do this. We go here to act mode, and yeah, now um, the AI will start to generate our our website, our application, and everything you can imagine. And um, the current AI model is so good. And let's see what it comes up with. Oh, of course, now we have an uh, error that can happen. Then we click here on retry. Okay, now it's working. See, now he's creating our um, new website for us. You can see already we have um, the HTML document. Now uh, he's creating the CSS files for us. And yeah, task complete. Then he wants to open the um, open the file. He asks us for permission, and we click uh, yeah, run the command. And now the terminal gets open. And now uh, yeah, here you can see this is our uh, yeah our first website. So of course yeah, we have to make some changes. And um, yeah, you can you can tell the AI you can go back. Uh, you can go back to Visual Studio Code, and then um, yeah, you can. Uh, Ask them everything. So um, let's, for example, please change the layout 
to a more more professional layout and also change the main color to oh, main color to red then let's execute this command and now he will of course <laughs> retry retry this can of course happen There we go. Okay, I will update the um, style CSS for the color and also change the layout to a more professional uh, appearance. Also, if you have any images, then you can um, tell in the chat here where your images are located um, on your computer. And then he will include the, uh, these images. And of course, you can um, yeah use this, um, put this HTML file if you're happy with the with the outcome. Then you can, um, for example, place this HTML files and also all the CSS files and so on onto your server, and then you have a fully working website. So let's um, execute this again, and now you can see this is our new um, website. Of course, we have to change a little bit here, but yeah, you, you get the idea. And of course, you can also edit all the information. So for example, if you want to edit the um, headline here, simply copy this. When you don't know where to find this, you can see we have two, uh, two documents. We have the index HTML and we have the styling um, CSS sheet. Uh, when you want to, here you can see already I found this, but if you have a more complex uh, file, then you can go to the finder here, to the search tool and paste it in here. And then um, he will find it for you. If you have, for example, more, um, more files, and then um, yeah, it will show you exactly where it's located in which file and um, the place. And then you can, you can change this. And yeah, so that's it. But yeah, now you know exactly how to, um, how to use this, how to uh, import this, the new AI model the new Gemini Pro 2.5 uh, AI model. And this is really cool. Yeah, you have to uh, play around with, or you can play around with this and tell them to um, yeah, create any, uh, any applications for your computer or for your website. So it um, can create anything, uh, create a chatbot or whatever you want. So yeah, play around with this. So, and I will all, of course uh, put all um, the links in the video description down below. So for Open Router, for Visual Studio Code, and also for the Google AI Studio. So then um, you can, can simply go to the video description and yeah, click on the links and then you make your free accounts and connect it to Visual Studio Code. And then yeah, you can, you can play around with this for free. And this is the most advanced um, AI model right now and play around with it, have fun, uh, Try it out and yeah that's it for the video so thank you very much for your time thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye guys